Ayan muling magtipon, awitan ng Panginoon. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. Kaya nating alalahanin, panahong tayo'y inalipin. Nang ngalan niya'y ating sanggitin, paano di tayo lingapin? Bayan uling magtipon, awitan ang Panginoon. Sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear friends, to our Eucharistic celebration on this uh, memorial of St. Catherine of Alexandria, a learned woman in the 4th century who witnessed her faith proclaiming it and became and because of that she was martyred our uh, brothers here seminarians will be uh, installed for one year as uh, extraordinary ministers of holy communion to help us in our ministry in uh, distributing the Holy Communion to the people of God. We pray for them, for their discernment, for their vocation, and also that they may uh, do and uh, serve the Lord in this uh, ministry. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we now ask God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christ eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign. Great and awe-inspiring, 
seven angels with the seven last plagues. For through them, God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast, and its image and a number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shut with them for joy. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes, to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead you to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. For I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking, that all your adversaries will be powerless to, ref to resist or refute. You will be even handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, Lord to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. A blessed evening to everyone and those who are worshiping with us through this live streaming. There is a popular Filipino saying which goes, Kung hindi makuha sa santong dasalan, daanin sa sampung 
pas-pasan. Roughly translated would be, if you can get it through a saintly prayer, get it by whatever means that is fast and effective. This is mounted especially by those feeling machos who would get the girl's consent through whatever means they say. Whether this is at all true in reality or just part of male's boasting, feeding his ego and narcissism, I do not know. But uh, such vision of life is contrary to the spirit of the gospel expressed in today's reading, whose conclusion declares, by your endurance, you will gain your souls. This is the attitude recommended by the Lord to his followers as they face the, uh, the difficulties of discipleship, especially that of persecution, the attitude of patience or endurance. The term endurance in Greek is hypomone, no? is understood as hanging in there, which denotes perseverance, consistency, dependability. Hypomone generally translated as patience or endurance, or sometimes they uh, mix it as patient endurance, is understood as the idea, the idea is of the staying in power that keeps the person going until the end. This hypomone grows as we experience more trials. We find, for example, Paul, St. Paul in, the, in his letter to the Romans, chapter uh, 5, verse 3, saying, We glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Or in the letter of James, chapter 1, verse 3, the testing of your faith produces perseverance. That endurance becomes part of our character that enables us to face the blows and uh, frustrations of life. I still remember the comment of my father when I went home for the first time after, uh, since I entered the seminary. He was asking me, Como está ti viag? Yes, seminario. No? How's life in the seminary? And right away he said, Narigat, mahirap. And I told him the challenges of the daily order, of getting accustomed to the order of seminary life, no? studies, community, etc. And his comment struck me that I still remember. No? He said, Nunarigat, if it is difficult, then it must be you are in the right track. If it is difficult, then that must be true. As he would explain that life, real life, and success need efforts, patience, hard work, perseverance. But what underlies endurance is not just enduring for the sake of enduring, but for us Christians, the underlying spirit of Christian endurance, patience, is of course our hope, Christian hope, that what we endure has been endured by the Lord in order to gain for us salvation. So we can only hope, so we can hope that uh, sharing patiently what Jesus endured, we shall also share 
in His glory. And this is the Christian attitude that we as followers of Christ should cultivate patience, endurance, as it is asked by the Lord in the Gospel today. The experience of this pandemic has been a test of, I think, patience and endurance, among others, of course. We thought that after the first lockdown for two months, everything will return to normal. And it has been, it is more than eight months already, and we do not see yet the end of this. But let this, as seen by Paul, by the authors, sacred authors, let this experience of challenge trials be an exercise of endurance and, of, and an opportunity to form our hearts and character. For that is part of our following of Christ. Some people marvel at the length of formation, priestly formation, seminary formation. It is long. And these, our brothers, are, are still starting. It's a long process. Why? Because formation is not just formation of one aspect. It is a total formation of the human person. In other words, it is a formation of character and character as uh, the gospel today is formed by the exercise of endurance, patience. This ministry of extraordinary ministers of ministry of uh, Holy Communion is a foretaste of what the priestly ministry will be to be minister at the altar of the Lord and help feed God's people with the bread of life. And may this Patikim of this experience of ministry inspire you, dear brothers, to be uh, diligent, to be cooperative, to be open in the formation, in our formation. And we know that uh, this formation, the underlying of all this formation, the difficulties and trials of formation of life, is of course the hope in the Lord who has won over sin and death and who has promised glory, life to those who endure. May the Lord help us grow in our hypomone, endurance, to form us better Christians, better followers. Amen. We now have the uh, right of installation. Those to be commissioned for one year in the Ministry of Extraordinary Ministers, please rise. Seminarian Archie Aliping, 
Seminarian Benjamin Joseph Vallejos Seminarian Chilo Suguban Seminarian Semelu Cagas Seminarian Mark Joshua Olan Seminarian Rex Otom Seminarian L. Jeremiah Loyong Seminarian Gerald Alejandro Ruiz Seminarian Robert Ed Stadeo Seminarian John Mar Lopena Seminarian Eden John Graho Seminarian Justin Kyle Abinohar Seminarian Vincent Bangos Seminarian Kenneth Navara Seminarian Emmanuel Romnick Prado Seminarian Mark Beaver Bautista Seminarian Dexter Pahayahay Seminarian Joshua Miguel Babista Seminarian Jobert Mislang Seminarian Pivo Ditalo and Seminarian Michael Roy Galima Dear brothers, as extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, it is your responsibility to assist priests and deacons in giving Holy Communion to the faithful at the liturgy and to the sick. Strive to be molded more perfectly in the likeness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Seek to understand what you do so that you may offer yourselves daily to God as spiritual sacrifices. Moreover, show a sincere love for God's people and especially for the weak and the sick. Please stand. Stand. The world and its people belong to God. Let us entrust ourselves to Him and believe and hope in God's protection. That the church may look at the future with faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, and despised of reject or uninvolved in our society, may experience God's care in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's healing presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our frontline front line health workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with His mantle protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform their respective duties, and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the per perpetual light and grace be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Let us pray to God that uh, He may strengthen our brothers for faithful service in His church. God of mercy, bless 
our brothers, whom we commit mission as extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion for one year in our community, grant that they may be committed to the service of your altar and in giving to others the bread of life. May they grow in faith and love and so build up your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The community may seat. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service to the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of His Church. Let us welcome our newly commissioned extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion with a round of applause. Congratulations.
ng bayang umaasa, sumasamba nagmamahal sa iyo. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Catherine of Alexandria win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of our, your blessed martyr, Catherine, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and, in, and on the feeble bestow strength, to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, 
that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Catherine and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
joy and gratitude in our hearts for having been called children of God and participate in His service to His church. We now address Him with the prayer our Lord Himself taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, we offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus Christ, who endured so much, even death, to bring, bring us salvation. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and as I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Catherine a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, God our, our Father, Father, we come to you in our need, our need to ask your protection, protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even plagued lives. lives. We pray, we pray that, that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and, and to stem its transmission. Protect, protect the medical experts, experts that they, that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray, we pray for those, those afflicted. May they, may they be restored, restored to health soon. Protect, protect those who care for them. them. Grant, Grant eternal, eternal rest to those who have died. 
Give us, us the grace in this trying time to work, to work for, the for the good of all and to help, and to help those, those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to and save, save us from our Lord. fears. Grant, Grant all this to our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the, of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Um, we fly, we fly to, to your protection, protection O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. Do not, not despise our petition and our necessities, but, but deliver us, us always from all dangers, O glorious, glorious and blessed Christ. Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold, Jansen, and Joseph Reinadamets. Pray for us. Saint Catherine of Alexandria. Pray for us. So once again, we would like to congratulate uh, our uh, seminarians installed as uh, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. And uh, we thank now, in the name of the Shrine, for your service. Kasi dito naman kayo mag maglilingkod, di ba? So, thank you in advance already for your service, helping us in our uh, ministry here in the shrine. Palakpakan uli natin sila. <laughs> Sa mga benefactors, you see ha, that they are advancing. So, thank you, dear benefactors, those who are helping us in their formation. Continue, please, to help our uh, community through your prayers, material support. And uh, so, once again, and also for those who are watching, young people who are watching, uh, to consider also religious missionary life as an option. You are welcome. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, your work, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. live and reign in our hearts. Saints Arnold and Joseph, 